Amen. At this time, we're preparing our hearts to receive our supervisor, the evangelist, Vanessa Wimbush Gatlin. Amen. This beautiful president of this wonderful conference. It's because of her vision, amen, that we are here. And this place is almost filled to capacity. Amen. And we know some people had to leave last night. They had to leave, go back for different reasons. But this place is almost filled to capacity. And it's because of the vision of this great woman of God. Amen. They said she's the queen of the International Sunday School Department. But we just thank God. Amen. She's known everywhere, world-renowned. Amen. But we thank God she's ours. Thank God for the opportunity she's given us all to work together. Her vision of one woman, no woman left behind nobody left behind and you know i can go back when i served as a district missionary when we both were district missionaries and you know we would have a, a convention on women's day and we might have that many people over there at the at the convention but look what god has done because all these women have been included nobody's left behind everybody has the opportunity to work in this ministry so we thank God for this great woman of God that God has anointed for this hour for such a time as this amen to bring us to a higher heights and deeper depths in him so as we receive her amen I want everybody to stand on your feet amen if you hadn't stand at all today stand on your feet at this time and receive this great woman of God the evangelist, the supervisor, Vanessa Winbush Gatlin. That was really nice, but you know what I want you to do. Give God some real praise. It's all about Him. It's all about Him. It's all about Him. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Tell you, your neighbor, whether it's a sister or a brother, tell them this is the last service. Get everything you need. Yeah, yeah, we're going for broke this go round. We're going for broke. You better get everything you need. Let your cup run over. You may be seated in the presence of God. Oh, my shekera da shandari Thank you, God. Oh, my, my soul is satisfied today. I am so grateful for God and for what he is to me and what he has done for us during our time together. We do celebrate again and appreciate our great leader, the Bishop Roy Lawrence Haley Winbush. And this morning while I was with him, he was so concerned. How is everybody? Who is there? Name the men. Oh, I named y'all. One by one. He want to know who is here. Are the people in their places? And he said, I want those men to understand. They want the women to come forth for them. He said, and it's really not right when they don't come and support the women. I said, you better talk, Bishop. You talking real good talk. So I want to say that we do appreciate these wonderful men of the Lord who are here. I appreciate our chairman of our pastors and elders council. He's been with us the entire convention. And we thank God for him, for our evangelism president. He's been here the whole time. We thank God for him, for all of these pastors. And, and I thank Superintendent Booker McMillan, Superintendent Nation. And I don't want to miss anybody. I saw Superintendent Smith the last night, I thought. Uh, who else? Superintendent Bernard. Yes, yes. These superintendents and all of these pastors who are here help me celebrate and appreciate the men of God. <laughs> Pastor Cuba, Pastor McLendon, Pastor Seth. I appreciate these pastors because even though they are pastors, honey, they help mother. Oh, they know how. And I appreciate all that they do. I am so grateful and thankful uh, Mother Wimbush was so sad this morning because, you know, she usually presides on today. She said, and I had some I want to do today. I guess I just have to do it another time. It's going to be all right, Mother. <laughs> so let's keep Mother in our prayers. She and Bishop, that God will continue 
to affect healing in their bodies. I am so thankful for these wonderful women, the greatest cabinet, the greatest team on the earth. These district missionaries stand tall. These superintendents' wives, these pastors' wives, I'm so thankful. These prayer warriors, and listen to me, listen to me. If you neglected to visit the war room, you don't know what you missed. Evangelists, we've been in a war room. The war room opened when we opened the convention, and we only closed it at 12 noon so everybody could be in the closing service. But we've been praying around the clock for 72 hours, believing God that God was going to do some stuff that could not be done by man. If you brought it in the war room, it's over. Somebody shout over. I, 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 I'm sorry, but I came to church with a vendetta today. I'm vindictive today. I, I came with a vendetta against the devil. I don't like him, and I don't like what he does to the saints. And some saints are not wise concerning him and his devices. And so they let him use them. But I told him it's over. The thing that blessed me during this war room is that God spoke a word and he said he was taking the young and the mature. And he was going to allow a collision. And he was going to bring a revolution by merging both groups. Oh, you better hear me. You can't wait. I told you Thursday night, we must train our daughters. And what blessed me was those young women were crying out to God in that war room. My God, my God. I want to know that they can cry out. I don't want to wait till trouble comes. But I want to know that they know how to cry out. So thank you. I want to thank again Missionary Nicole Ward and her team for the great... Uh, things that they did for the war room and missionary Sigel Schaefer's and missionary Marianne Cooper who took that initiative on and if you didn't put your request on the wailing wall you missed it you missed it you got to believe God and so I just thank God for all that has taken place uh, our psalmist regretted that she had to leave but I, I told her this was the earliest I could get her out for it because she's got to speak in Chicago in the morning but she didn't want to leave I won't go to church again today. Girl, get on that plane. Go where you got to go. She did not want to leave, but we thank God for all that God has done. But uh, I thank God for the incoming of Bishop Alton E. Gatlin on this morning. He's been doing double and triple duty. And my God, did we have a word last night. There was a word in this house. My God, my God. I am so grateful for uh, District Missionary Erica Sasser and for the praise team and for the choir, the women of worship, and for all of you who worked with her. I am just appreciative for everybody. And the people that you don't see, all those people up there, y'all just turn around and just wave to them. They're going to get me later, but I'm going to make you wave to them. These are the people that's been making it happen for us to be able to stream live, and they've been videoing all of the services. And let me tell you, before you leave today, stop by media and take this home. We got sisters who couldn't come. We got friends who couldn't come. Honey, bake a little cake and get a little coffee and invite them to sit down. Honey, they probably won't eat the cake and drink the coffee because the anointing of God go in in the room. So stop by media and pick up all of those wonderful things. And, you know, it would even be nice for you to bring your women's group together and say, look, I know you couldn't come, but we're going to sit down and we're going to watch and see what did our supervisor have to say for us. They told me it was raw, uncut, and unedited. It was straight holiness. Take it back home. You need tonight, you need every day, the day, the day, the day. You need to know how to make it in a storm. Missionary Doris Kelly will help you. And yesterday, that district missionary, Melissa Jenkins, she cooked in the kitchen. She came and spoke an anointed word and went back to the kitchen. That's what I'm talking about. Real servanthood. 
all of the word. Everything is going to bless you. So please take it home and share it with others.